Ulverston, a quaint market and festival town serving both its local community and visitors from Cumbria and the Lake District. Its town centre is the life and soul of the community. From as early as 1280, Ulverston has held its outdoor market every Thursday and its indoor market Monday through Saturday. As well as the marketplace, between its beautiful cobbled streets and colourful buildings, there are a variety of independent shops, cafes and cosy pubs. The community truly continues its proud heritage. So why, in today's Ulverston, is the community split over the plans to open two new superstores in the area? missing something like that but um, I just think Ulverston's got just such character um, and it'd be a real shame I just don't think it's worth it um, for what it might do to ruin the town because I've, I've lived here for seven years now and I love wandering down the street I love all the quirky little shops and think it's just such a lovely town and personally I think it would really ruin that so I'm, I'm not happy about it and I've been signing the petitions to say no to the supermarket. The one that they're planning to do in town will just ruin the, the town um, and I mean I live right at the bottom of this street where it's about to be and where, where if it goes ahead we're moving because I don't want to live near it um, and the one out of town well that's going to take business out of town and um, I know like some families and whatnot can see the benefits because they think they're going to get obviously cheaper shopping and everything and not everybody's got the time like I have to go to this great veggie market and, and get all their, their bits and pieces in town. I, I don't find, I'm, I don't earn a lot of money and I don't find, I, I don't struggle um, with, with what I've got so far so I don't feel like I need, need them at all. Um, but to me it's just not worth it. The benefits that them, there might be there are not worth what it might do to the town. What's happened in most other towns where a large supermarket has arrived is that local shops have closed down. Um, so for example, in Stalem in Norfolk, um, a study was done five years after a big Tesco's came um, to the edge of a town centre, as, as this would be, and footfall in the town had fallen by 55%, and a large number of local shops had closed. Now that's a, a fate that I think is very likely for Alverston, and, and one that I don't want to risk happening. I would think that the majority of people that live in this town, they, would prefer to shop in Ulverston rather than to travel, travel eight miles to Barrow. Yeah, I travel to Barrow if I want to go to a big supermarket, so life would be really good and I also think it'll bring people into Ulverston on market day and buy and it'll be good for the local shops. I'm against the one for Sainsbury's out of town. I do think we need to do something with the brewery side. I think the Robinsons one would probably be better for the town. It would open up the bottom end of town and draw people in. Um, but Sainsbury's, Sainsbury's probably got better food, so I'd, I'd probably use Sainsbury's. I think it will cause absolute chaos. I think that I'm not opposed to development on the site. Um, I think it should be used for housing. Uh, but I think the amount of traffic in particular that would be generated by having a large supermarket on this site would be unbearable for the residential area. The roads are not suitable for it. They're far too narrow. I mean, Alderson is a, is a jumbled town, you know, with little streets and little houses all close together. You can't fit a massive volume of supermarket traffic plus HGVs in, into that streetscape and expect everything to be okay. Uh, the increase in heavy goods vehicles will be uh, horrendous. Um, and they're parking up on Hart Street and struggling into the site. They're reversing sirens from very early in the morning till uh, late at night will be I think are very objectionable. Uh, in addition, there's because we don't know what a uh, supermarket is going to come, it's, it's very difficult to assess the details, but um, they're bound to have ventilation, refrigeration, machinery, all kinds of um, machines making emissions and noises. 
there's also the argument that the supermarket put forward that oh, people will use our supermarket and then they'll go into the in, in, into the town centre and make a purchase as well and I, and I don't really think that stacks up um, you imagine you go to the supermarket you do your shop um, you load it all into your car your fresh fruit your milk your yogurts some frozen pizzas you're not going to shut the boot of your car and go and have a walk around town for half an hour are you you're going to get home before the stuff starts to deteriorate and melt in your boots so the uh, the argument that the supermarket puts forward that it'll bring people into the the, the town centre or into the town well yeah, it'll bring money uh, and people to the town but it won't distribute it to any of the current shops it'll be going to the supermarket People go to supermarkets in cars, they do their shopping, they put their shopping in their cars and they leave again. Um, so the idea that it's going to create linked trips um, that will boost the local economy, I think is just a falsehood. I think that's, it's really not going to happen. Um, and so I think it will have a negative impact on the local economy. What, what, what will happen is that local traders um, who spend their money in the local area, who employ local suppliers, they, they will lose out, they will lose their jobs, their suppliers will lose their jobs, so there'll be less money in, the, in Alston itself. So sure, the supermarket will employ some people, but most of the money will be going down the M6 to shareholders elsewhere, not kept in the town. And there's plenty of evidence to show that for every pound spent in, the, in local shops, more money is generated for the local economy, and that's not true in big supermarkets. Over the last few years, obviously, there's a vast change when things have happened, but I mean, at this present time, we're doing all right. So, yeah, they're going to take the footfall out of the, the, uh, the town centre, that's what they're aiming to do. So, yeah, it's got to affect our, you know, our income without a doubt. Anyone who's selling product that's exactly the same as the product that the supermarket will stock, will be directly affected because you see the supermarket's going to have an advantage here because it's going to have a free car park okay and as a collection of shops in the town we don't have a free car park people don't come to the town in in great droves because it's really expensive to park here so i think if, if we could sort that out i think that would go a long way towards really boosting the town center um, so yeah, it's difficult for traders at the moment, there's no question about that, but the answer isn't to put a great big supermarket on the edge of the town, because that will be the kiss of death, that will not be the thing that revives the town. I could, I could see a good reason for Sainsbury's coming in, with the increase of jobs and the wider variety, so I'll probably say I could still be against it if people don't want to it, but it's a good idea. Yeah, it'd be amazing to have more jobs available and kind of people in jobs. But having something which is going to detract from the jobs which are actually in the centre and the and the businesses are in the centre, I think, I don't know where the balance lies really. Government figures, the government agency's own figures, show that when a supermarket arrives, a net loss of 276 jobs takes place in that locality. Because it's not just um, the, uh, the jobs of shop workers. Local shops source their materials, source their goods locally, by and large, to 70%, to the usual uh, figure is. Supermarkets source virtually nothing apart from their income locally. Uh, it all comes up the motorway in big wagons from their depots. Um, they source it from all over the world, never mind all of the, over this country, and, uh, and they bring it here. It serves no purpose for the local economy whatsoever, apart from the fact, of course, they do pay business tax, which uh, the local council might get hold of, uh, which is attractive to them. So the job, uh, the job figures are utterly bogus, uh, both for the Sainsbury's and for the Robinson site. There will be jobs there, of course there will, but they will come from Ulverston. They won't be extra, from Ulverston, jobs that already exist, they won't be extra jobs to the town at all. Quite the reverse. There's a lot of strong feeling one way or another. You know, people, I think, feel in their gut, I really want a supermarket or I really don't want a supermarket. Um, but what this comes down to is these are planning decisions. And so, 
we have to really be objective and look at the arguments on both sides and that's what the planning committee has to do and I think they've got a very difficult job. I think it's really difficult when you've got people um, on both sides sort of being very vociferous about what they want and don't want. Um, but at the end of the day I think there are really strong planning reasons to say no to both supermarkets um, and I know that because uh, my interest and involvement with Keith Olsen Special has led me to do a lot of research about it. So I think, you know, trying as hard as I can to be objective about this, there is really sound evidence to say, no, this isn't right for Alveston. The guys uh, who are in Keith Olsen Special, um, the, the feeling is that Alveston is a um, quite a special town. If, if you travel around the UK, to, to towns this size, um, they're not they're not they're not all as good as this. We've got quite a unique mix of uh, of independent shops. Um, it's it's a nice atmosphere. There's a, there's a nice feel in the town centre. A lot of towns this size no longer have that, and and the the feeling the reason why Keep Olsen Special uh, believe is because of the proximity of those towns to supermarkets. So. Uh, Keep Alderson special. I myself believe that um, there is something special about about this place, and uh, it needs to be conser conserved, not preserved, not pickled, because um, that's a different thing altogether. Um, more conserved, so things need to develop, things need to move forward, but they need to do so in a way um, that benefits the town and the community. It it uh, came into being when um, the uh, Robinsons announced that they wanted to build a supermarket on the brewery site. This is two years ago. My wife was a councillor and a fellow councillor, Colin Williams, called a, a meeting of local residents. We put a note round and uh, I chaired the meeting and we set up a committee to oppose it. We were astonished because 100 people turned up uh, and they were hopping mad. And from then on, that committee that was set up that night uh, has striven to, to make the arguments. We managed to put up a case which has certainly delayed the Robinsons a long time and we think we still have a cast iron case against uh, Robinsons. And it, Sainsbury's, who are gigantic and ruthless, uh, we hope we've seen off.